Hey, my name is Dan. I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. Now in this video, I want to talk to you about how to return a car after you leased it. Why? Because there is a chance that you can get fucked for over a thousand dollars, over two thousand dollars when you're returning a car. First, you're going to get charged deposition fee. What's a deposition fee? Deposition fee is a kick in the ass and it's a punishment for you leasing a car. The car manufacturer liked you so much, they want your money so much that even when you're returning the car, they will charge you a deposition fee which is a fine for leasing the car in the first place. How can you get rid of this deposition fee? You have to lease another car. So how do you get rid of, get, get rid of the crack shakes? Get some more crack baby, that's where it's at. Fix the crack problem by throwing more crack at it. So the, the reason that this deposition fee exists is because the car manufacturer and the dealership wants you to lease another car. You don't want to be doing that because you're throwing money out the fucking window. You're never owning the car, you're just paying. Can you imagine a car payment for the rest of your fucking life? That's what a car lease is. Now if you watch my videos, you know there's one thing I hate with passion, that's car leases. I can't stand them, it's a waste of fucking money. When you're gonna be returning the car, the best thing you can do is don't return the car. Keep it or sell it to a private party because you're gonna get more money from a private party, number one. Or number two, if you need a car in the future, let's say you're not planning to get abducted by aliens or leaving the country, you're gonna need a car. What's wrong with the car that you have right now? Can you live with that car for another, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years? I think you can. Unless you had, you know, big significant life change, you got kids or you have a business where you need a van or a truck or whatever. I suggest keep the truck, but if, you, if, if, if your situation changed, whatever, do whatever is better for you. Next, whenever you're going to be returning the car, before you even go to the dealership, here's what you need to do. You need to get on your camera, on your phone, and start taking pictures of your car like a madman. I need you to take at least 70, 80 pictures of everything everything four rims under the hood doors this angle that angle bumper this angle that angle underneath the car b behind the car underneath i mean inside all the places where there could potentially be scratches or damages take a picture of your of the mileage you got to take pictures of everything maybe even uh do a video of walk around the car okay why because i'm gonna tell you sad truth right now lots of used car managers or even salesmen, they will purposefully damage your car, scratch something, do a little uh, dent on your car. It's super easy to dent your car. Bam, that's it. These, these fucking cars are, are, are made out of fucking hopes and prayers that nobody ever crashes this thing. Uh, literally, you can, you can put a dent with your fist and you don't have to be fucking hulk to do it. it it's very simple. It's super simple. And here's the thing. They're going to do that. They're going to tell you, it's $500 to repair this dent. Oh, look at that. There's a little scratch over here. That's $750. Oh, you got a scratch on the rim. That's, that's a brand new rim we're going to have to buy. That's $450. Bam, out of nowhere, you're already owing $1,500 or $2,000 for excessive wear. Okay? To prevent that, you take a lot of pictures and you're like, hey, um, I, nope, there, this, this, uh, it's, not, it's not in the pictures. You fucked it up. You fucked up, it's not on the pictures, all right? Now, they do that because it's gonna cost them less than $100 to fix this little dent that they put in. They're gonna charge you $500. It's gonna cost them free. They're gonna buff that scratch out. They're gonna charge you $750 to repaint the whole, the whole part. Leasing in the first place is a really shitty deal. Returning the lease, that's like going to interview with Harvey Weinstein again. But now you're forced to, you got fucked once, you're feeling sticky and dirty, now you're coming in for fucking seconds. I mean, not, a, not even a fern plant is gonna save you. Some of you will get that. <laughs> Huge thank you for watching this video. Click here to subscribe, watch one of those two videos, and click the share button below the video. Did you enjoy the video? Did you find it useful? Do you think you're gonna save some money with it? Absolutely, fucking lootly you will. Share this video on Facebook with somebody else. This is Dan Strong with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you in another video.